dare you. Because I still struggle in coordinating my lips, jaw, tongue and voice box and spitting out your name. You stole the best part of 20 years that I'll never have again. In the beginning, you, you were fun. My go-to friend at parties, my number one. The longer you were with me, the freer I felt. And you didn't mind. You said you'd take the blame any day, so long as I was happy. And you felt good. With you, I felt invincible. I was naive and convincible. And you made yourself indispensable to me. But you were a Trojan horse, bearing gifts of short-lived joy with every ploy and intent on destroying me. When I fall for someone, I fall all the way. You knew how vulnerable I was and still prayed. Took full advantage anyway. Told me to not catch feelings for you, okay? That it was what it was, giving yourself a leeway. That in moderation we were good, only to lead me astray. Anyway. Not all personal abuse is apparent. No one saw the internal damage you were inflicting. Inherent. So deep that I wouldn't bleed on the outside. By the time I recognised that I was hypnotised, I told myself it was too late and cried. I was too attached to let you go, paralysed. I hated myself. I hated myself for craving you this badly, terrified. I hated the way my hands would shake, the thrashing headaches, how my heart would race, my heightened breathing rate, if I so much as dared to try and break away. Forced to submit, frustrated, with no way out, stalemate. Even now, even now as I lie spread eagled in this hospital bed, pumped with IV meds, malnourished, cachectic NG fed, uncertain of how much longer I have ahead of me, not a suitable candidate for liver transplant, they've said, belly swollen with fluid, mutilated vessels can no longer hold, spleen almost dead, unable to protect me against infection, sanity fluctuating, pleasantly confused, near brain dead, and still... And still you have the audacity to look down on me, knowing full well, knowing full well this could be my deathbed, teasing me to let you in just one last time. Screw you, alcoholism.